very sunny today. What's up everyone? This is Farhan, AKA Drone Fate. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys and showing you videos of the Mavic Mini's footage with and without ND filters. Now, ND filters are used to bring down your shutter speed, shutter speed to get that buttery smooth, more cinematic looking footage. Um, for, you, for those of you who don't know about, um, about this thing, when recording cinematic videos at 24, 20 frames, 25 frames per second, your ideal shutter speed should be at 1 50th of a second to get that smooth footage. But if you're using auto exposure values on your drone and you're recording, you'll, you'll, you'll notice that your, your footage have, it's quite choppy, it's a little jittery, you might not have enough motion blur in it. Now, motion blur, um, I mean that our eyes are accustomed to seeing a certain blur. I don't know if you can see it here, but you can see a certain blur in that. That, that makes it look more natural, more cinematic. Especially when you're recording obviously 24, 25 frames per second. Now, there's so much light that when you manually, manually adjust your shutter speed and you put it to 1 50th of a second, your video is gonna look overly exposed. It's just gonna be blown out. It's just like white light coming in. So we use ND filters to reduce the light coming into the camera so you can get that perfect shutter speed for your buttery smooth footage. So I'm gonna do two tests, obviously. One without ND filters and one with the ND filters and you guys can watch both of them side by side, compare and see the difference and you guys can be the judge of that. I am gonna be using the Skyreet ND filters and by the way, this video is not sponsored by them in any way. This is just my own opinion. So I'm just using Skyreet um, ND filters. I've got the all, all day bright pack, which has the ND8, 16, 32 and 64. Now, depending on how bright it is in the day, you'd wanna use the numbers correctly. Let's get right into it. So guys, this is what it'll look like when you put it at 1 50th of a second of shutter speed. So you're overly exposed by what? 2.3, you don't really want that. There's no lens by the way, so, uh, footage would be thousand of a second or one eight hundredth of a second if you want to underexpose it so I'm just gonna fly straight down and get some footage and just bring it back and you guys be the judge of it Let's get some height.
time to put the filters on. Okay, boo. -boo. These filters are so easy to put on. Now to check if you put it on properly, just turn it on and pretty normal. Guys, as you can see it with the filter on, it's underexposed by minus three. So here I'm gonna increase the shutter speed to allow more light in. There you're getting something normal. Now I'm gonna keep it at 150th of a second. drone is turned off and if you want to change it bring it back down and turn it off and then change it or remove it 
whatever but make sure your drones turned off so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to be notified for more upcoming content i make a lot of cinematic drone footages so stay tuned for that and if you guys enjoyed this and want more of such um, tests or reviews just comment down below of what you really like and um, i'll see what i can do and if you guys also want the link um, to buy these i'll try and find a link for them and i'll put it down in the description below if i do find them thank you guys see you next time